Hi friends, uh, welcome to Azure Video Tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain you how to copy data from Oracle database which is available in on-premises. So I am installed Oracle database in my local system. Uh, that's uh, you can say uh, local server not in cloud. So I want to transfer the data from my local server to Azure cloud. So means on-premises to cloud data transfer using Oracle database. So my source is Oracle database. My target is Azure cloud data lake. So I need to transfer from my local Oracle database to target Azure data lake. So for that, first we need to create, first we need to create in connections, there are integration, runtime integrations we need to create. Of, then we need to create a link services after that we need to create a data sets this is the three steps we need to follow for any on-premises uh, sources like uh, if you are transferring data to on-premises or if you are uh, selecting like if you are selecting data retrieving data from your uh, on-premises database or files so earlier uh, i have already explained how to create integrated runtime so how to create integration runtime for self-hosted services so here we need to create so default will be azure so within azure if you are moving data so we can use this uh, runtime integration if you are moving data from on premises to cloud we need to use self-hosted so go through my video other video have i already explained how to create a, a runtime integration for self-hosted servers so this video how to create a link services for uh, on premises Oracle database and how to create a data sets, then how to uh, transfer the data from my Oracle database to Azure Cloud. So here I have a SQL uh, server, a SQL server developer. So there I have already connected my local uh, database with the local system uh, username. And I have already configured here, self hosted here you can see the runtime integration in my local system it's running so how to configure this self-hosted uh, runtime integration uh, there is another video I have already done so you can go through that video uh, how to create a self-hosted runtime integration in Azure cloud then let's start with creating link services click on new and uh, there are databases here you can see click on databases and my source database is Oracle here select and click on continue here you will be getting connect via runtime integration so I'm going to select which I have already created on premises uh, integration source Oracle DB link services okay then my local system ip address is host name is local host and the port number is 1521 and oracle sid because we need to connect through sid is a orcl and username password so my local system database username password system and that password once you enter this you can click on test connection so it should so I'm uh, creating link services to connect my Oracle database which is installed in my local server that is self-hosted so I'm creating link services to connect my self-hosted Oracle so now connection is successful so most of the time you will be facing issues while configuring this this is integration runtime for self-hosted okay so if you are once you install this now you can go for creating link services in link services you need to remember that host because mine is a local desktop so i'm using a self a local host or you can use ip address okay then port number and username password so normally if you are working in any project uh, like any development or production environment 
So we won't prefer for admin username passwords to connecting the source systems. Normally they won't share and uh, it is not suggestible to use admin uh, username password. But this is a sample video which uh, I'm giving an overview. That's why I'm using a admin username password to connect a source database. Okay. But this is not suggestible. We will create a new user and uh, we will grant the access whatever required uh, like you, you are going to select the tables few tables if you are selecting will grant only those table uh, retrieving access that's the select query access then we will use that username password to connect the source database then click on create so i'm creating link services for my source database which is installed in my local machine that's called you can say self-hosted okay now my see here my oracle database which is available in my local system i can connect in azure using this link services so once you done with the link services you can proceed for data sets so here you can create a new data set for your source and go to database and uh, my source is oracle i'm selecting oracle database So table name, uh, that's the data set name if you want to use, uh, you can use, but reasonable name, SRC, RRDB, employee table. Okay, and go to connections. Here you need to select the link services. This is our link services, which we have created. And uh, there are tables, uh, available in uh, my art local system the schema name you can it is still loading or you can do refresh so whichever uh, tables are available in this schema all will be displayed and uh, i have a different schema in my database that's called hr there you can find the employee and department tables so i'm going to hr dot so I'm going to extract the data from source. The table name is called hr.employees. And if you want to see the data, you can click on preview data. So this data set will connect to my source database and fetch the data for this table. Okay. For every table, we'll create one data set. So I'm fetching the data. So this Azure ADF cloud will connect to your local system. This is my local system and it will fetch the data this is a sql developer which i am using to connect my local uh, oracle database here i can find that data which is available in this table is a 107 record the same data i am going to extract and uh, store into my azure data lake as a file so for that first step is go to connections you have to connect your integration runtime for self-hosted so that i have already configured uh, that uh, i have already configured so you can find the other video called uh, how to configure on-premises uh, runtime integration for self-hosted okay then second step we need to create link services now see you can see this uh, now the preview data whichever we so that preview data is available you can close this second we need to create link services for your source which is self-hosted uh, uh, server then third step we need to create a data sets like if you have a 10 tables you are planning to load the data from your database to azure cloud at those 10 tables you need to create a 10 data sets so like this we need to create so I'm saving all this then I will create a pipeline to load the data from my local database to Azure cloud data lake so creating a new pipeline Oracle DB to ADLS then go to our activities select copy data so click on this 
and uh, name user defined name you can change this name Then go to source and our source is a EMP Oracle table. This is one source or RDB and go to target and so I'm using a direct table so you can say table and if you have partitions uh, you can use other options for partition so I currently this table doesn't have a partition. So I'm going directly. Go to target. This is sync. Select your target where you are creating. So this uh, employee target, and uh, go to mapping because we need to retrieve the source table structure, this metadata, that import schema. So whatever the source table having a columns, the same columns I'm going to create a file in my Azure Data Lake. So for that I'm doing import schema in mapping tab okay so these are the source column ids and the destination also same and the those data types here you can see that okay then validate no errors and click on debug so i'm running this it should transfer the data and it should create a file in my Azure Data Lake, there is a folder called target folder. So currently it is empty. So now it's running. So I'm transferring the data from my local server Oracle database to Azure ADLS. Azure ADLS. Wait for a few seconds. So in this process, the major thing is your link services and uh, runtime integration. So I think it is. Let's verify it's not uh, running. So my self hosted, uh, yeah, now it's running. You can see whichever. Uh, that self-hosted uh, node is running now and uh, go to your pipeline and uh, refresh this so more than one minute still it's running So this is the way we can transfer the data or we can uh, retrieve the data from self-hosted uh, databases like not only Oracle you can use any of the databases which is a uh, supporting here if you go to link services if you click on new link services databases there you can see this the uh, supporting databases Oracle DB, uh, DB2, IBM DB2 there's so many databases you can just base Hive, MySQL this is all the supporting databases of now. Still it's running. It succeeded. So we will verify the file is created. Yeah, now you can see uh, the table name, whichever the table name and it's created a txt file and uh, we can see the data as well all the columns with header and data so like this we can go for connecting a self-hosted servers and uh, loading the data from your like retrieving data from source to loading data into your azure cloud though using self-hosted so integration runtimes we can use so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much